Hey there everybody, it's Wayne D. Welcome to the website WayneD.com and we're looking at Tommy Fleetwood. He's won the race to Dubai. This guy is one of the best ball strikers in the world. If you look at the European tour stats, he is far and away the best ball striker. I mean he he's uh sixth in driving accuracy and like 36th in distance he averages 299.5 or something but you know to hit 70 percent of the fairway is hitting at 300 yards you're going to hit a lot of greens and he can certainly do that because he's hitting 77 percent three percentage points above the next guy uh, and number one on the european tour so pretty impressive stuff. He's 26. He's uh, he reads out at 5'11 and about 170 pounds. But as you can see, he's, he's got he's got kind of an anomaly. His his lats, his back is uh, exceptionally big. His arms are really long. So uh, pretty classic uh, looking swing. You don't see too many swings anymore that are getting as full as uh, as Fleetwood gets it's kind of kind of neat to see um, a lot of shorter swings still hitting it at miles but uh, he's getting the most out of his body here classic uh, left wrist position at the top I really like the neutral slight cup in the wrist one of the interesting things about the the pivot motion here is the way once he gets once he gets past the midpoint of the swing he'll begin to move forward into the ball by by quite a bit too now you might expect at this point he would end up on his toes and wouldn't be able to clear but this is not the case even though as he starts down, you'll see both knees move just a moment to the right. He's going to adduct this arm here. This right arm is going to really drive inward. That club is going to helicopter around a la Hogan. And as you can see, when you look at the lower body, he's got a tremendous amount of, of anterior pelvic tilt there. And I want you to keep that and really, really get the left leg moving out of the way. So by the time he gets to left arm parallel, you can see he's well open. You can see his foot lines over here and his hips are already well open. And then he's got so clear here. Look where his left cheek is. He's got this interesting head movement here where the head ducks down. And again, you know, you see these, a lot of players are following the ball and not Fleetwood. He's got his eyes down. Way past the ball. So when he hits it, you can't see it on some of these, but when he hits it, he's got it very, very close to the exact same angle that he sets it up at. Not on that one, but got an iron shot here that sort of matched right up. Let's watch this in uh, full speed because sometimes I forget to do that. This was a 265-yard shot. He just flushed it right on the middle of the green. That's pretty neat. I think this one's about 160, but boy, he gives it a nice spank at the bottom. So the finish is pretty cool, too. I, you won't see too many guys cover better with the with the right side 
I've got a couple of interesting uh, angles. Watch it swing. Check this one out. This is pretty cool. You can see in the finish, it almost looks like he's cutting his finish off. He's really not. It's just that his right side is so forward, so far around. With his right arm well bent. He's hitting the ball right now. Look at the look at the angle of the arm. Still bent. Straightens out to the left. Drives the right shoulder through. And that's it. So this is a really cool shot here. Let's take up the whole oops. That's good, Wayne. Let's try that one again. All right, let's watch this one in action here. Hmm, nice shot. All right, so at a dress, yeah, pretty athletic, comfortable. The left arm, you can see it very, very straight right in there you see that elbow pretty locked up the right arm not so much but the left arm very very straight keeps it that way in the backswing so he's really getting full width right there great takeaway really like that extension you know without moving off the ball very much just moving away from center and you get a good you get a good feel for how big his lats are and how strong he is now I really love these angles because when the when you get into transition from here and you get a guy built like him with a tight shirt on you can really see the interplay of the muscles when the sequence begins to unfold so you can start right about now if you watch the if you watch the top of the left thigh here, right there, and you see the club going back. Now watch that movement. That that thing's going to move away. So there's the there's the rotation as the club keeps going back, and you can see that the club head is going to pretty much immediately dart back this way. And as we saw in the down the line view, you can see the right arm driving inward and the club flattening so when you watch that from here you might say okay you know he's initiating his downswing with his left side but he's really not because the the weight is pressure loaded down into the right He's going to use the brace, he's going to use the muscles in the right side of the pelvis to change direction. So, of course, in the backswing, the pelvis is moving around in a clockwise fashion. But if you're going to change direction, you're going to have to move it the other way. Now, you can move the left side without a bunch of weight on it, but the right side is the initiator. You can see immediately he gets that nice crunch right in the in the waist. Look how the belt buckle is driving down and into him. So if we look at the overall height that he keeps here, he's gonna load down a bit in the backswing. And then he's really going to hit the ground and drive again. So this is a, you know, kind of what I like, old old Tiger, just a little down and down. You know, constantly, constantly using the ground. And now from here, even though his head doesn't come up because of that odd duck he's got, and you can see his eyes are pinned down. He's not looking up yet. Watch the, watch the legs. It looks like his 
he's gotten himself right into the middle of that left foot he's gonna pivot that that right leg is twisting in and driving up into the left and he's using the instep of the ball of that foot but the big key here is that the weight the uh, the leg is twisting and driving up into the left so right here we've got a tremendous amount of squeeze now there aren't too many you know people that play golf that can actually use their pivot like this but you know when you hit the ball as good as he does you can see what an advantage it is to be as you know sort of wiry and supple and then again if you if you look at how open his chest is here that's why the finish always looks a little cut off because the right shoulder is so forward you see a lot of that in Hogan swing where you never wrap the club around his neck I really like that I don't like finishes that like end up pointing at the all the way around pointing at the target so let's watch that one So he's hitting it really hard, but it really looks like it's under control. So this is like the gear effect. You get the you get the area down in here twisting, and then above that, it kind of cuts off about right there. So you kind of see this twist around. And then it catches these big muscles up here, and they just come in order. And then right here, you can see how big that lat looks. So, here's another one, same angle. Again, that cutoff looking finish, I just it just looks controlled. Look at this. That ball looks like it's sitting down a little bit, but man, he just takes it and just pounds it. Watch the again the change of direction. Look at the hip movement. So if you're going to use the ground for vertical force, you've got to be in position late in the downswing so that you're not firing your glutes too soon. If you can fire them now, they're going to really help out. So you've got to be, got to have some depth, and you've got to have pressure on the left, and you've got to have that left leg deep enough so that when you use it, you can push it straighten it, watch the left leg straighten hard so he's using the glute, he's using the muscles behind the knee driving that right glute up into the left, bang beautiful, alright Tommy Fleetwood one of the best ball strikers on the planet